What is up all my beautiful dolly friends? I'm Dr. Doll and welcome to another video. So in this video, um, y'all remember one legged Sam? Yeah, poor one legged Samber here that we got at Savers a week or two ago. Wasn't looking for an American Girl doll, but um, always happy to find one at a thrift store. So what we are gonna do with her today is I have a custom order from a client. She wants a classic mold American Girl doll with the Plum Bellini wig by Dallas Doll Co. And these purple Heather eyes and a unicorn dress. So that was the custom order. So uh, since Sam is a beautiful classic mold, we are going to go ahead and use her. So I've got some water heating up. Oh, and there it is right now. First things first is we're gonna take her head off. So her strings are pretty short. I may even just get rid of this string and do a zip tie because they're so short. It's going to be difficult to retie them. Um, someone has like double, triple knotted it and then cut it short. No, don't do that. Don't cut them makes it so difficult to get it untied. Okay. I think I got it. And then I'm just going to take this out. It's so short. I'm just going to toss that. And... So I've got my hot water. I'm going to go ahead and start with the eye swap and wig removal. Okay, I'm back. So my pitcher that I used to heat water in um, just decided it was going to split in half one day. <laughs> um, ow! So I have no good pitcher to heat water up in. I need to buy another one. I'm sure they're cheap, but we're just using a good old Rubbermaid Tupperware right now. We're going to let her marinate. Um, and I'll go ahead and start de-stuffing her and taking her limbs off while she's marinating. Um, so, take a good look at the stuffing. Honestly, I mean, she's got some marks and scuffs. She's obviously been played with over the years, but, and the obvious, you know, her leg is off. But other than that, she's really not in terrible shape um, as far as I don't see any weird stains um, and she doesn't smell weird. Her, her eyes didn't seem like they had been exposed to water. Um, she didn't look like she had any sun staining. Her stuffing so far looks good. Smells good. So I don't think that she was um, necessarily treated badly. I'm not sure what happened with this leg. Maybe, maybe once I get in there, I can figure out what happened. Um, but it doesn't look like it was ripped off or torn off. So we will find out. Oh, where's my spatula? <laughs> my good old good old spatula. Okay. I'm assuming the other tension cup is in here floating around. Yep, there it is. Perfect. So, okay, and she still has the old clasp, so she has not been restrung. at least not any time recently. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, when you send your dolls to be restrung at the doll hospital now, they no longer use the 
class method, which is where you tighten and then use these little clasps to hold the elastic in place. They just tie it in a knot, which um, the limbs become loose much faster now. Um, a lot of people have been unhappy about that. So if you need your dolls restrung, send them to someone like me because we'll do it the right way. Um, okay, so I think we've got all of her parts. I don't think we're missing anything. I'm really interested by this leg because, uh, let's see if I can see this elastic. Okay, yeah, I guess it does look like it was yanked yanked or I think it just got old and really thin and then it probably got a, a nice tug and that's what did it. Um, okay, I'm going to look for my spatula. Be right back. All right, I've got my trusty spatula. I prefer the uh, wooden handle. The, the Le Creuset is my weapon of choice because it seems to grip the plastic better than plastic. It grips the plastic better than plastic. That's a weird thing to say. Okay, so we're gonna pour the hot water out. And while her head is warm, I'm gonna try and get this wig off without damaging it, which may or may not be possible. But it's not in bad shape. And it's a classic um, pie bang Samantha wig. So I'd like to save, okay, her eye just exploded. I'd like to save it if possible. Don't worry, her eyes are fine. I can easily put them back together. Okay, Let's see if we can get this wig off without damaging it. Might be difficult. Let's see, I really, oh shoot. See if I can get underneath it. There we go. There we go. Come on now, Sam. Give me the wig. Hand the wig over. Okay. It's much easier to do when the plastic is heated up. It sort of makes the glue hot and liquefied. Um, and then always pull from the perimeter if you can. That will keep the netting from ripping. Hey, I think we're gonna be able to save it. Okay, I don't wanna jinx myself. Come on, give it up. Give it up. Give it up. Give up the ghost. Come on, wig. You're gonna lose a couple strands along the edge. It happens. Um, the glue catches individual strands, so it's not a big deal. You just want to try and minimize the loss as much as possible. She has pretty thick hair, so um, I think it'll be fine. We used a little bit around the outside. Oh, come on, glue. Don't do this to me. I'm so close to having this historical Sam wig. Oh, wow. It's like the plastic has melded. What is going on? What is going on here? Um, okay. I really need, what I really need is my X-Acto knife because it's almost like the plastic has fused with the wig. Let's see if I've got my exacto knife nearby. Yes, I do. Okay. Very gently because we don't want to damage her head. I'm just sort of cutting the glue, trying to cut the glue and not the wig and not the plastic. So. This is some serious operation we're doing here. Can you guys see, even see what I'm doing? I'm so sorry. I'm just sitting here talking and you probably can't even see what I'm doing. Is 
the weirdest thing. It's like her plastic head has fused with... I know that the older plastic of the Pleasant Company dolls definitely um, seemed a little softer. There we go. Well, not completely unscathed. You can see there's bits of plastic. Um, but it was weird. It was like the plastic had melted into the wig, so not much we can do. Um, there's no holes, but definitely some craters there. She's got a little bit of an acne scar, so luckily her new wig will cover that up. Okay, so while she's hot, let's get these eyes in. It might be too late now. Not too late. Wahahaha. Okay. That's a great look. She's like giving some serious side eye right now. Like, would you say? Gotta rotate these into their proper locations. Um, these are like a lighter um, purple eye. They're very pretty and they they sort of change color based on what you match them with. I've noticed um, they pull more pink if you put a pink outfit or wig next to it. They pull more purple if you put purple next to it. And um, they can even pull a little bit of orange. So they're very nice eyes. I like the color. Okay, we put them as straight as possible. While she's nice and hot. Yeah, what do you think? Okay, so now while we still have some hot water going, I'm going to take my little Ziploc baggie and let's start with the legs. Hopefully it won't overflow on me. Oh, it's really pushing it, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to dump, dump some of this water out. You're just trying to heat up the plastic without getting it wet, essentially. Okay, what's next? Maybe I'll finish restraining her and then I'll give her a good scrub down. She is dirty. So, um, oh, this is an old kit. I need a new one. So for restringing, um, I use the clasp method which is the way they used to do it. You can buy these handy dandy kits. They're like 370 a piece from Acadia Lane Dolls. It's an Etsy shop. Um, you can make them yourself by purchasing the elastic. Make sure that you get the correct thickness. I forget the exact, it's, is it two and a half millimeters or three millimeters? I forget the exact width, but, um, you want to make sure you have the correct size of elastic because too thin and the legs will turn inward and she'll be a little bit bow-legged. Um, the metal class you can purchase at a hardware store. Since I, it's hard for me to get out of the house, I don't mind paying $3.70 for a kit not a problem and if you buy enough of them at a time you get free shipping so money well spent I say I'm just gonna go ahead and get them prepped they're all fully prepped Did I put the tension rods? I feel like I'm always doing this to my, myself, or tension cups, I should say. There they are. All right. So I like to prep them um, by going ahead and getting 
one set of clasp ready and then threading it through the tension cup. I only like to heat the limbs once, so I like to be prepped ahead of time. All right, the legs should be heated by now. So what I'm going to do is remove the old tension cups and put the new ones in all in one foul swoop. All right, so I take my little needle nose pliers, get in there. I'm going to grab the tension cup and get out. Get rid of the old elastic, grab your new tension cup, and shove it in sideways. Very important you shove it in sideways. Voila, done. Don't have to heat twice. Efficiency is a blessing. Right, pull the old one out, put the new one in. All while the plastic is still flexible. All right, so now we're gonna heat the arms up and just do the same thing, basically. Um, okay, she's got an interesting little um, like bump on the back of her head, do you see that? Very interesting. I've noticed with some of the Pleasant Company dolls, they, they have interesting like backs at the skulls. Sometimes they're very flat, I'm not sure. I'm not sure why. Uh, I'll go ahead and throw this old stuff away. And... Uh-oh. See if I can get this old saber sticker off. I'm sure my client doesn't want to know that I purchased her from Savers. Maybe she doesn't care. There we go. All right, let's see if these are good enough now. Um, not quite. The thing that's tricky about it is, um, so if I can, if I have to do an eye swap and a complete restringing, I like to use, I like to just have to heat my water up once and then do all of it. That's my favorite way when it goes like that. Sometimes the water cools down too much though and you have to reheat it. Um, but when you've got several dolls in a row that you have to restring, I like to try and be as efficient as possible. So the less I have to run over to the microwave, the better. Okay, that should be good enough. The arms are always a little bit harder just because the tension cups are harder to get out. Just got a muscle on. Muscle them out of there. Come on then. Right. I'm going to put that one back in. I'm going to put the new one in while this one's still warm. And it's barely warm enough. cup. Come here, please. Come here, please. Gotcha. Okay. Sometimes you kind of have to go fishing for them. Ugh. Sometimes they're shy. All right, so we're done with the water. Yay. I didn't have to heat it up again, so that's a win. Um, so now we just have to attach the limbs back to the canvas. So I like to start with the legs just because if you start with the arms then you have to work past them to reach down to the legs. So I like to start with the legs, make sure that you put them on the right way, facing the right way. And then um, this is a super like elegant way that I do this. 
So I think the like more professional way would be to use a clamp. Um, I don't have a clamp, at least not one that's thin enough. So I use my good old teeth, I guess. And I pull so that it's nice and tight and then I clamp. There you go. I'm sure the, all of the dentists in the audience are, if I have any dentists or dental hygienists as viewers, they're all like, no, don't do that. You'll ruin your teeth. I know, I know, but I'm sure I've done worse things to my teeth. Buy it. And you clamp it. The only other option is to have someone help you or grow a third arm. If you can do that, I'd be super impressed. And then we do the arms, same thing. Um, and I really can't emphasize how important it is to have the correct thickness of elastic. Um, for some of my earlier dolls, I used an elastic that was too thin and it created some problems. So, okay, almost there, almost there. Last one. All right, I'm gonna to have to end this part here, start a new part. Thanks so much for watching. I know it's super exciting stuff, but we'll see you in the next part in just a moment. Bye-bye.